the greatest place to give to charity is to give it to a Torah institution. Even if you go, let's say, to, uh, to let's say, a, um, you want to pay the electric bill for this place for the month, right? That is a very, very high level of, of, uh, of, you know, of charity. You guys are all, we're all, we're all gathered here. One of the reasons we're gathered here today is we're working on, on building our own place. You know how much that's worth? You know how much that's worth? If you would have told me it's just for prayers, that's one thing, right? But that's not the main reason why I think that this thing that you guys are building over here is, going to, is, is worth a lot. It's for the Torah classes that you guys have. You know how many people started keeping Shabbat because of these things? You know how much it's... And, and people are going and they're donating to different things. The value of money is right here. The value of money where you get the highest rate of return is right here. If somebody were to ask you, you have two options. You could save somebody physically or fa- save someone spiritually. What would you think would be uh, the better bang for your buck? Spiritually. You're saying that because I'm here probably and you're sitting in a... Uh, maybe, no, no, <laughs> okay. So I'll, I'll give you... Baruch Hashem. When the spirit is falling or healthy, the body has more opportunities. That's true, that's true. But I'm talking about, let's say, somebody who is, has, is about to die. And then you have somebody here, right? It's a very hypothetical situation because it can't, you know, obviously happen. And this guy, he says, you know, if you give me, you know, like $5, I'm going to become religious for, you know, ever. And then you have another person over here that he needs $5 to save and all you have is one $5, right? The value is, right, it's a very hypothetical situation and, and you can't take it to heart, Right? The real person you should give it to is if you have an option to save too, you save the person that's spiritual. That's spiritual, right? Not the thing to say that if someone's dying, you'd be like, well, I'm sorry, I got my priorities over here, dude. Right? If someone's dying in front of you, obviously you have to take care of it. But the money, at the end of the day, the value and the, and the, most, the reward that you will get is in the spiritual. Who says this? The Zohar. The Zohar. The Zohar and Pashat Luma, right? He says as follows. He says, if only, and I'm going to quote for you a little bit in English, if only... The sons of men knew the greatness of the reward to those who follow the Torah, the righteousness, and those who bring the evildoers back to the good path, they would pursue after them like one who runs after life itself. If you would realize the reward that you get for breaking somebody religious, you would run after them your whole life, just trying to get them to become religious. If you realize the reward for it, he said, and, he, and he goes on and he, he explains how, you know, the, the value and the importance of it. People don't realize. People don't realize how much value this is, right? When you're looking at this community over here, there's so much work that needs to be done. There is so much work that, so, that people can, can become religious, right? You're looking at the, 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 you, a gold mine. You're sitting on a gold mine. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.